If you've watched any or most MGTOW videos, I think most MGTOW videos share the same sort of content in the fact that most complain about female hypergamy, that most women nowadays enjoy riding what they refer to as the cock carousel, and that women cheat, women bring nothing to the table, that marriage isn't worth it, uh, marriage only benefits women. And while many of these things hold some level of truth, most MGTOW men or most men in general will have the same understanding that women react to the environment that you place them in and yet still remain confused as to why women today act the way they do. They blame it on the laws and yet men are responsible for creating the laws. They blame it on women and female hypergamy and yet women are only acting in their best interest because most MGTOW men will agree that most women don't bring much to the table and if everybody wants to be honest most men particularly date women for the sake of sex and having children and if that is the case and if a woman only as if, if a woman only brings as they say to the table her vagina then a woman is going to use that to the best of her advantage and of course if she does that then that is of course her problem it's something that she does and men view that as something as either incorrect or something that they they dislike and i'm often like what the fuck if by and large MGTOW men agree that women react to the environment that we place them in and if for the most part women today when they're young typically hook up and get pumped and dump but yet men are the ones who are doing the pumping and dumping why do we blame women for what men put them in when women were faithful and were living primarily as housewives men never complained when women were living promiscuous lifestyles even though back then there was shaming and yet when women decided that they didn't want to be shamed and wanted to live kind of like men, why was that? Well, it was primarily because women got tired of the double standard. That men could go out and live these lifestyles of being male sluts <clears throat> while at the same time requiring women to be these virgins that they would only marry once they were tired of pumping and dumping. And so when women got tired of it, they created the environment that we have today, which progressed through feminism, the rise of feminism, the no more shaming of women living promiscuous lifestyles because women got tired of it. And I kind of don't blame them. I mean, if you live in a society where men say it's OK or by and large, the attitude of men is that it's OK for men to be male whores. But then if a woman goes and does it, then she should be shamed for it. And then as a result, society changes. It changes to what we have today, which is women live the promiscuous lifestyles that men lived in the past. So if you really have anyone to blame, it's our forefathers who came before us, who pumped and dumped, mistreated women, and eventually the generations passed and women just got tired of it. And of course, since men make the laws, Men change the laws to accommodate women, and as a result, we have the dating scene that we have today. And yet many men today will still complain that even if they change the laws, that they would never go back to what they refer to as the plantation. And what would that do to society? It's like, no matter what women do, they're damned if they do, right? I mean, for example, most guys date women for the purpose of having sex. And if a woman withholds sex earlier on in the relationship, the guy won't date her. So then what is a woman to do? If she's trying to meet someone to have a family and she withholds sex and then guys will say, if you don't have sex, I'm not going to date you. What is she to do? Now she conforms to that environment, right? The environment that we're putting her in. If you don't sleep within the first X amount of dates, we don't bother dating you. And then they conform. And then we say, oh, what a whore. 
It's fucking ironic. And yet, by and large, this is what men are today. It creates this sort of confusion around most of society in today and why you have a lot of anger towards women. And yet, primarily, the ones who are responsible for it are men. But they don't want to acknowledge that. They say things like, you know, women have no value. Women bring nothing to the table. Just pump and dump. As if, as if that is going to be of benefit to society. In certain societies where the single motherhood rate is, you know, 60, 70, you know, maybe even upwards of 80%. And then you have men who are making videos towards their community where they should, as they say, fuck these hoes to sleep. Do you imagine that will change the community in which you come from? It's, it's staggering today what most men complain about. I do agree that the laws are shit for marriage. But to say that the vast majority of women bring absolutely nothing to the table, well, then maybe you should date better women. I mean, being 39... Living in the city, I can honestly say it's very rare that I come across a woman who is in her early to mid 20s, who's mm -hmm. just finished college, that isn't looking for a serious relationship. Yet at the same time, I can also honestly say that most of the women that I've dated or that I've gone out on dates with, I would not have gone out with them had they not been willing to hook up. And if this is if this is the environment where I put a woman in, then I can't blame her if she follows along with that environment for the purpose of trying to obtain a man for a long term relationship. It creates this. I, it's hard to. It's, I don't. I I don't understand <clears throat> how as a man you can say that. Women adapt to the environment that we put them in and then yet not look back in the age of men and the age of our forefathers who were a generation, two or three behind us and not understand why the women are the way they are in our generation. When men were able to high five each other because they were living promiscuous lifestyles, but God forbid a woman do it, she would be shamed. She'd be called a whore. Even, to, even today, men typically don't outwardly call women that. But yet women still refer to other women when they're intimidated. They'll refer to her as a slut or as a whore. Or look at the way she's dressed. She's, she looks promiscuous. And they'll look down upon her. That still exists within the female community. But by and large, in the dating scene today, if a woman isn't willing to hook up, most men won't date her. So what is she to do? Have you ever asked yourself that? And then if she is a woman who isn't willing to hook up but wants a relationship, then you'll say, well, no, because she doesn't bring anything to the table. So then what is she to do? And then you have men who date women overseas and then you just pump and dump women overseas who are also, by and large, looking for a relationship. I've traveled overseas for many years now, and I have yet to meet a woman who is in her early to mid-20s who isn't looking for a relationship. Sure, there are some women out there that are looking for resources. Every woman is looking for resources in an environment where the vast majority of men are the ones who do the working and the women stay at home wives. And yet that is what men want to go back to, but then at the same time they don't want to be the providers. They want women to be traditional, but then they don't want to be the typical providers. And then they'll say, well, it's because of the laws. But then they'll say at the same time that even if the laws were to change back, that they still wouldn't be able to go back to the plantation because of female hypergamy. It just it makes absolutely it makes absolutely no sense. And men don't want to take responsibility. And they want to and then at the same time, 
they'll say that women don't take responsibility. It's just fucking the irony of the Meitau community today.